This is one of the many blood vessels through which our blood flows. Blood is composed of a liquid called plasma, in which biochemical substances and salts are dissolved and which contains erythrocytes, leukocytes and blood platelets. Platelets are essential for blood clotting. Blood clotting is a natural defense mechanism in the body to prevent blood loss after vascular injury. How does blood clot? When a blood vessel is damaged, for example by a splinter, bleeding occurs and blood starts to clot. First, platelets aggregate at the location of the injury. Then, fibrin threads are formed which reinforce the platelet aggregate. Erythrocytes and leukocytes are then trapped in the fibrin network, which leads to the formation of a tight clot that eventually stops the bleeding. Let's go back and zoom in on the moment the vessel is injured. Platelets adhere to von Willebrand factor and collagen fibers present in subendothelial tissue where they form aggregates. This process is called primary hemostasis. Collagen activates platelets, causing them to change shape and to activate binding receptors on their surface. Released compounds like thromboxane A2 and ADP recruit and aggregate more platelets. Simultaneous to the process of platelet aggregation, or primary hemostasis, the process of secondary hemostasis unfolds, which leads to the formation of a fibrin network. To visualize this process of biochemical reactions between clotting factors in plasma, we need to zoom in even more. This will bring us to the surface of a perivascular cell on which we find tissue factors. The tissue factor initiates secondary hemostasis. Tissue factor exposed to blood will bind coagulation factor 7, resulting in the formation of an activated factor 7, tissue factor complex. This complex binds and activates factor 9 and also factor 10. Activated factor 9 assembles on the cell membrane with coagulation factors 8 and 10, resulting in additional factor 10 activation. Activated factor 10 then assembles with factor 5 on the surface of, for example, an activated blood platelet. This complex binds and activates prothrombin, resulting in the release of thrombin. Thrombin splits four short fragments from each fibrinogen molecule. Two resulting fibrin monomers then join together, forming a fibrin dimer. Fibrin dimers assemble into multimers, which results in long branched fibrin threads that trap white and red blood cells. Thanks to the formation of this blood clot at the location of the vessel injury, the circulating blood volume in our blood vessels is secured.